Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here. So this video's tone is gonna be a little more sad than normal because I'm gonna talk about some of my regrets from Power Rangers Dino Charge. Things I wish we would have filmed, things I wish were filmed differently, and things I wish weren't filmed at all. So let's get into it. All right, first, one of the things I wish was filmed differently, episode one of Dino Charge season one, where Shelby and Tyler are in the Jeep driving and she's looking at the journal and Tyler, myself, whatever, <laughs> is telling her basically, my dad's been missing and blah, 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 and being all forlorn about it. Just finished. I really miss him. I wanted to play that more heartfelt in, it just, it didn't feel right for the vibe that I was directed and how I portrayed that scene. And I asked the director multiple times, can I just do one where I'm a little more, you know, not as upbeat about it. And he's like, no, no, Power Rangers are always happy and, you know, energetic and always positive. I was like, no, I, I get that. But even positive people have moments of, you know, he's talking about his dad missing for 10 years. I'm sure no one's happy talking about, yeah, my dad's been missing for 10 years. You know, not that I was that happy in the way it portrayed. Um, basically he said no. And had I gone back in time, I would have just ignored him, <laughs> honestly, and done a couple of takes the way I wanted. And then they, could have edited it, they had the option to do my way or his way. But since I never got one on camera the way I wanted to, they were only left with the options he wanted. And when we got, basically Saban watched the first few episodes uh, and we got a note from production and he's like, yeah, Saban really loved you guys on the show so far. But one note in episode one, he wanted Shelby and Tyler to be more emotional in that scene. I was like, I knew it! So I was just so mad that I didn't, trust my instincts and I, because tr there's a time and a place. Like I'm not trying to be a diva and be like, well, I'm gonna argue with every director because they're always wrong. But I should have stood up for myself in that particular instance because I just, I knew it wasn't quite the right tone and I didn't trust, I didn't want to get fired, you know, episode one. And I was like, I didn't know how much power I had versus them, you know, how established he was on the show or whatever. So by, by and large, yeah, I just, I wish I could have done that a little bit more <laughs> from here. All right, another regret. <laughs> so in the episode, I can't remember the name, but it's when I dressed up as the Prince of Xandar. So, you know, I had that fake mustache on and I come into the ranger base and Shelby didn't want to play the princess and all of a sudden she sees me. She's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll be the princess because she has a crush on Tyler. I mean, who, who doesn't have a crush? Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah, for that scene. <laughs> so for that scene, it was written that I come in the base and I'm like, it's me guys. And I'm supposed to do a backflip and then get up and be like, isn't this awesome? And so I did a couple takes of me doing a backflip, but they ended up not using the backflip in the final footage because Yoshi and I, the week before uh, I injured my, well, it wasn't his fault, but slightly my fault for thinking he could hold me in a trick that he told me he had no experience in. So he did a hand to hand where I do a handstand in his hands while he's standing. And he started running with me and he's like, oh no, I don't know how to like bring you down. Uh, and then he brought me to the side and my ankle hit the floor and popped. So I don't know if I tore a ligament or something. I never got it scanned. I ended up going to physiotherapy for it, but I could barely jump on that leg after that injury. And so I did a couple of backflips, but they were way lower than normal. They didn't look as clean. So I imagine because the backflips probably looked like me almost dying, they cut it but I wish we could have kept the backflip because it hurt so bad to do the backflip still and I still did it. And then they didn't put it in the episode. I was like, man. So in the Super Sentai of Dino Charge Kyoto Ruger, which is the source material essentially, they morph by doing this dance. They go Kyoto change and it's like do 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 and they spin the circle after some b-boy moves and they go fire and then they shoot the dinosaur spirit. And not that I wanted to do that morph every time, but I think it would have been cool to highlight it. Maybe there was like a dream sequence or something where our normal morph wasn't working. So Miss Morgan's like, I recalibrated your, your energems to respond to the energy in your morphers, but you have to do this special dance because it's on a frequency, yeah, whatever they want, you know, make up some story. I made that up in five seconds. I think it would have been a cool throwback to the source material. There's the fans that just start with each season, like, oh, Dino Charge is the entry point for a lot of kids, but it's also the continuation point for a lot of adults. So I think, Hasbro, whoever owned Power Rangers at the time, and it was Saban at the time when I did it, would do well, in my opinion, when they find moments where they can cater to both without 
taking away from either. And doing the dance would have been a moment like that to me because kids like dancing and the adults who watch the Sentai as well would have been like, oh, so cool. What an amazing, an amazing Easter egg, you know? So I would have loved if we all as a team did the dance for at least one morph. Speaking of the Super Sentai, Kyo Ruger, I thought it would have been really cool if we did a dimensional episode or several episodes where we did a crossover with Kyo Ruger. How cool would it have been to have a crossover with the Sentai team? I think that would have been amazing that Tyler and Daigo get to meet and I'm like, awesome! And he's like, Mina, ikuzo! You know, and like get to lead the team together and two Dino Charge Rangers fighting side by side. One speaking Japanese, one not. And again, I get it because it's a kid's show primarily and they don't need to to sell any special toys, go to such lengths to fly a cast over from Japan. But I personally just would have loved to do a crossover or a special movie anniversary edition where we cross over with them. That would have been really cool. Another regret is, okay, I get not being able to have the Sentai, but no crossover with any other Rangers, you know? And I get it because we actually talked to our production about it and his reasoning was very kind. He's didn't want to take away screen time from us to bring back past Rangers when there's already 10 of us vying for screen in 20 something minutes of a show. But I would have loved to have some legendary Rangers return. Whether we help them or they help us and whether they morph or not, just having another Ranger tie-in is always cool because crossovers tend to be some of my favorite episodes of Power Rangers because it's that nostalgia driven part. And I know we did the crossover with Beast Morpher, so in a way we got to do a team up later, but it would have been cool to have that in Dino Charge as well. Okay, this one's kind of a dumb want, but not at the same time. Yoshi and I really, 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 really want to do a shirtless fight scene in the rain because we're both like, we work out a lot, it'd be cool, we'd look buff and we'd get to fight and we'd be awesome at it. And we went to production multiple times throughout the seasons uh, and throughout the episodes and the weeks and we'd go, hey, so does the episode next episode have a shirtless fight scene in the rain? And he'd be like, uh, no. And then we go like, how about the next one? And that next one, and then finally we got to the end and we went, yo, there was never a shirtless fight scene in the rain. And he's like, yeah, sorry. And I just think it would have been cool because there were other Red Rangers who, okay, maybe not in the rain, but they had shirtless fight scenes. I mean, some of them tore their shirts. Daigo and Kyoto Ruger got to tear his shirt off in a fight scene. I wanted to be part of that select few that got to muscle through their shirt and fight or maybe get hit with the blast that melts the shirt. I don't know, just something to fight shirtless. All right, so this is another one with the Sentai. I really enjoyed their music and not just their opening theme song. They had other really good songs throughout the season. And Dino Charge, I love our theme song, but we didn't really have a ton of original music as far as I'm aware. It's more just like music that's scary or intense or riffs of the Dino Charge theme throughout. But if we could have gotten some of the other songs from Kyo Ruger, or even the Melody of the Earth song where they all sing to give power in some way, even if they translated it to English, that would have been amazing and was definitely a missed opportunity. All right, for this one, so Dino Force Brave, if you're not familiar with that, is the South Korean adaptation of Kyo Ruger. Their suits are basically the same, but not, the color scheme is a little bit different. Uh, but someone edited a photo of my cast with us in the Dino Force Brave suits. And so for April Fools, one of the years, I posted a picture like, Dino Charge season three confirmed and with the new suits. But I think that would have been cool to have a mini series utilizing that footage, because again, the same way they use stock footage from Japan, why not use some stock footage from South Korea? And the footage was already there, so missed opportunity. Now, in regards to things I wish weren't filmed altogether, there's not a ton that I'm really like, man, that was dumb. Um, I wish that wasn't there. But I, I wish that the arc with Tyler and his dad, that his dad had amnesia. But the whole thing with him just leaving to protect us, it was hard for me to buy. When you're an actor trying to believe the given circumstances for a show, you want them to be believable. And yes, Megazords and monsters, I understand they're unbelievable in our actual reality, but within Power Rangers, things should make sense within the confines of that world. And my dad disappearing for 10 years to protect me just didn't quite make sense to me in the way it could have if he lost his memory and then ran into me again and then like kind of remembered and then forgot and then seeing me in danger made him remember fully or something. And then he got his memory back by seeing me in danger 
I thought that would have made more sense than Fury is chasing him and he can never send a postcard. You know, I get it. They don't have to fill every single plot point to the level I want, but to me, I just, I would have bought it more if he had amnesia. One other regret was that we almost had a crossover with the season after Dino Charge, Power Rangers Ninja Steel. So if you wanna hear more about that story and what could have been, watch this video.